Hello everyone, Manithrall here. Welcome to the weekly news for RS3. Sorry if I don't have the same energy today. I had a one day surgery today to get a hernia repair. So today reading a little bit of stuff might be a little slower than usual. But it'll give time to give more depth. So this week we actually have a few things going on. Uh, Double XP Live starts this Friday. Uh, you'll have 48 hours like they have done before. And the uh, pause timer is returning. So you have until uh, March 1st to use up your total of 48 hours for your Double XP needs. If you remember correctly, in the last week's video, I actually went over the details of what is and what is not uh, doubled up for the double XP live event. Otherwise, the Zodiac and Yak to the Shadows rewards are now available in the Oddman store. <clears throat> now, I won't read them all, but just know the animations, the outfits, and the pets are all in there for us to claim. Uh, the cost ranges anywhere from 3500 to 15000 so there's a good variety. If you like any of that stuff, please head on over. Otherwise, we have an update about the official merch store. They have some stylish RuneScape masks for us to enjoy. They are OSRS inspired. So they have a little bit of an older design to them. So, this week we have a live stream at 1700 time tomorrow, February 16th. Doesn't say exactly what about. A lot of anticipation deals with the uh, Elder God Wars. All we know is there's these four symbols. So do check that out. We have a beginner Raksha guide uh, for the creative corner from the RS guy. Very big name, definitely recommend checking out his stuff, especially for your bossing needs. He is a true bosser. And we have some awesome art here by Mage Nixie. It looks like Char. Very good job on that, very cool. Then we have a uh, screenshot here by O Lily. It says heart, and then there's a dash at lethal or leaf J dot RS. Do check out her uh, screenshots because that's actually pretty nice. So we got a little bit of a fashion scape here from out of her mind. Pretty cool outfit, if I must say so myself. Don't forget, there's a pink skirts event. Which will, to join the battle, you got to go to the Ancient Prison on World 92 this Wednesday, uh, February 17th from 1700 to 1800 game time. So do check that out. And this week's community shout, shout out is just the RuneScape Steam community in general. And been a good thing that they came to Steam. Help people get to know the game better. So for this week we have mostly patch notes because of double XP. They don't like giving uh, new updates on double XP weekends because well they want people to be able to enjoy the XP without all the extra updates. So this week the Ninja Strike is extra polish. The improvements are updated the tooltip for the medium hard desert ta uh, desert area task achievements 
to reflect changes made to the scepter of gods. Fixes are fix an issue which stop players from completing the you know you want it medium from an area task achievement. Fix an issue which was blocking progression during a fairy tale fairy tale part two. Corrected two typos in the Total Combat mini quest. The evil magic and evil elder trees are now correctly caught by the hide members filter. And a hot fix that the items used to recharge the scepter of the gods now have the double recharge value if the player has completed the hard desert area tasks. Graphical fixes are fix an issue with the dark green edges of the terrain near Taverly Lake. After opening a rocky outcrop, the cave model will be displayed without duplicating the door. The target info panel is now displayed correctly for training dummies. Animations will now play while using the summoning obelisk on a horizontal facing plot at the clan citadel. It is no longer possible to see through stones in the nature's altar. That's a weird bug. Uh, unexpected behavior fixes. Items will no longer float in the air when dropped in the Menifo's port district. The fireplace during a tale two cats will now behave correctly. Other fixes are Great Gilinorian Run attempts will no longer fail when going through leaf traps in Tyrannon or the underground passage between Catherby and Taverly. Your backpack will no longer be brought to the front during the mining and smithing sequence on Tutorial Island. Players can now craft the catalytic wand by using the spine beam wand on the Demonheim room crafting altar. Martin the Master Gardener now has a dialogue option to convert the new farming skill cave into the old version. Closing a coffin in the spirit realm will now prompt the correct message. Fix an issue with effects being activated on ships that return from a failed voyage. Vindicta and Gorvik will now face the player when below 100k HP. Casting NPC contact via spellbook swap will now immediately return to the previous spellbook. Room metrics now properly tracks Rago kills. And finally, equipping the Scarlet's Thief's Mask override no longer changes your hairstyle. And that is it for today's updates. I do apologize for the much slower reading than usual, but understand, I actually just had surgery today. I even have my bracelet on yet, and my tag, but I want to make sure you guys got the news the best way I can. So thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, later guys.